What's going on guys? If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome to another Modern Monday. Uh, today we're going to be playing this Emrakul Polymorph Proteus Staff list. Uh, I assume a lot of Modern players might not know what Proteus Staff is because this card sees zero play. Um, put target creature on the bottom of its owner's library. That creature's controller reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a creature card. That player puts the card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of its library. Activate this only when you can activate a sorcery. So before we start getting into the match and people are like, why didn't you Proteus Staff end of turn to hit an Emrakul or something? Both of our, our polymorph effects are as a sorcery. And are basically going to be targeting things like Blink Moth Nexus, Mutavault, uh, Call of the Herd tokens, which are super interesting, Garrick Relentless tokens, other Garrick Relentless, uh, other Garrick tokens, Batter Skull. We can actually target one of our lands if we, we make them a 5-5 and we have four Colony Gardens. And a Lumbering Falls. We have tons of little creatures that um, that we can target with Proteus Staff or Polymorph in order to hit the only two actual creature cards in our deck, which are Emrakuls. So even if they're able to like remove uh, our Emrakuls somehow with like something like Lost Legacy or you know making us discard it then Surgical Extractioning it or something, we should still have enough creatures like Batter Skull, Nissa, tons of Garrix, Call of the Herd, things like that to actually win the game. Uh, we're not we're not helpless if they do that, but it does blank a lot of cards like Polymorph from Proteus Staff. So um, sideboard's really interesting. We got one Elder Scale Worm, one Sagu Mauler, one Terastodon, one Ugin, one Kiora, two Chalice of the Void, one Dismember, one Sentinel Totem. Um, just as a way to exile all the graveyard things. Uh, Nature's Claim, two Negates, and two Relics. So we have one Sentinel Totem, two Relic of Progenus, which is interesting. This is nice because it's one mana, and then it's, it costs no mana to exile everything. This costs one mana, so it's basically two mana to exile everything. So, um, yeah, I mean, League deck looks interesting. So we'll see what happens. We also have a Treetop Village, which I did mention. So tons of creatures. We have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have 12 lands that quote-unquote produce a creature so so salty 90 what's going on mike is not here let's do it uh if we draw both emeralds that is pretty awkward yes if we if we draw both tentacuties well here's one this hand is great otherwise though lots of I guess we can try to cast it, huh? You just try to cast an Emrakul. An Emrakuti. Mishra's Bobble and Seachrome Coast. Okay, well. I'll crack my bobble to see what you're... No, okay. Well, that's interesting. We'll say blue here. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be a little more European friendly. They targeted themselves, which is interesting, because that gives you... Sure, okay. That makes more sense. It's all coming together now. Pass. So, one, two, we can explore land, land, far seek. That's pretty good. We can also go land search for tomorrow. I don't think that's as good. <laughs> Dear Clamageddon, that's definitely possible, especially now that Jace is uh, legal in the format. Sincerely, Frank. Uh, yeah, Mike recently, we had a room open up, and uh, Mike Mike recently moved in, so yeah, Mike is, has, uh, has a room on the other side of the house, so I have no idea what he's up to, though, because I don't really keep tabs on that dude. Let's explore. Let's go exploring. Oh, we can actually, what if we double searched? That seems pretty good, right? Time's wasting. I'll take two here. Let's just go search. Suspend. We don't get to play more lands, right? Okay. Uh, 
I think if you substituted Hazaret for Glorybringer, I think you'd probably be fine. Um, I'm not a huge mono red player though, so don't take my word for it. I don't, I, you know, I, it's hard to say. But I mean, if you're just if you're looking at Hazaret to be able to attack and deal five damage with haste, uh, I think you can get the same amount of damage out of a Glorybringer. I think they're both very solid creatures, right? And I think that's that's very relevant. Because while Hazaret does uh, have a, a... Oh boy, something's happening here. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to have to Garrick Relentless here. Make a wolf. Take a look. It's in a wolf. Reading rainbow. Uh, Samurai anim animated. I assume that Jawa's way is asking why not both because they don't have access to Hazaret because it's a twenty dollar card. That would be my estimation that they just don't have Hazarets, so they're wondering if they can replace them with Glorybringer. I feel like we might be dead here. Take a look. It's in a wolf. I guess we're dead here. I'm trying to do cool stuff, and they're trying to just play non-interactive magic, so that's sad. Well, now you guys get to see the Ascendancy go off, so... You know, enjoy that. Are you going to kill my wolf? It's rude. I'm just going to be over here reading things on the internet. If you guys need me, let me know. I watch the Predator YouTube content making yourself... Thank you so much, dude. Jay Garlic, really appreciate it. Glad you can catch live. I, I There's so many people who, who watch the YouTube vids and then they're like, oh, I finally caught a stream live. And that's pretty awesome. Uh, until your next turn, opponents can't cast spells with a chosen name. Sure. Let's see what you name. It'll give you it'll give us insight into your into your soul. Wow. That's rude. What up, Crystal Merrick? Pretty pretty reasonable. I'm pretty alright. Just uh just waiting waiting to die, as they say. Oh boy. I'm just gonna hang out here, do some things. Like you do. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Take a look. It's in a wolf. Garrick Relentless. Alright, so we bring in Nature's Claims. Where was that card that they cast on us? Is it Exiled? Comply. Sure. Hey, Frank, catching a stream live for the hundredth time, but it always feels like the first time. <laughs> what up, Chad? Doctor Bradbury. He's not a doctor. Don't don't believe he's a doctor, guys. He's actually a monster. I was playing. Actually, me and Chad. Chad is in Florida, and we went to get dinner last night, and um, then we played code names after. And uh, Chad was on my team, but then he kept like making making jokes about the the cards on the board, and then like basically giving away the the clues. He thought he was just being like 
funny and, and making the most ridiculous answer, but he was actually making logical answers and then giving it away. I went and got a drink from the store, then went to the post office, and finally got some food. I just got back, and it's still his turn. <laughs> yeah, that's my thought as well. Just, just to be clear, I'm. Uh, he's having a good time. He's he's playing magic with himself. Luke, I'm sorry, I'm not ignoring anybody. I actually did think you're. I, so, as long as you're not seriously upset that I haven't played Blue Tron, I think your your stuff's actually pretty funny. Like when you said, uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, I, you, you're saying a bunch of stuff, and it's all pretty funny. This is by far the spiciest Blue Tron list I've ever seen. That's pretty funny. Cool. Glad we, glad we, glad we lost there. All right. Let's bring in. Why did it? Why did it get bigger this time? That's weird. Let's take out. Lots of things. Lots of things seem good here. Nature's Kalame. Nagate. Chalice on one. What up, the real Scythe? Yeah, there's like a lot of things like Sentinel Totem or Relic is both very good. But like how many cards can we bring in is really the question. I guess we can take out like two searches. We'll take out the one far seek. We'll take out two Utopia Sprawls. I don't know if I care about Cyclonic Rift here. All right, this is this is gonna be good. We'll do this. I will keep this hand. Be lumbering all day. Colony Garden. Oh, that's actually the opposite of a Colony Garden. Alright, so now we have two things that that can get that can polymorph something, but we don't have the actual polymorph card. A creature is what I'm saying. We do have a polymorph card, we just don't have the creature is what I meant to say. Trying to focus here. It's really hard. Um, uh, breeding pool. Always be breeding. ABP. Always be pooling. Well, we're gonna we're gonna just pass here, keep negate up because we don't want them to go Jeskai ascendancy. Not to say they can't, but they could probably just pack them negation it and then just just win in response. Colony garden off the tip. Tippity top. None of these are colony gardens. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Sure. Sure. Okay. I also never win the first round of leagues, so, you know, that's just pretty standard, I think. Put both on top. Wow. 
just going to keep getting breeding pools here. This guy. Sure. It's okay. I never win a game in leagues, at least for draft. <laughs> if you never win a game in leagues in for drafting, you might be bad at drafting. But I can't say, really. Can we activate Mutavolt then Polymorph? I don't trust that because if they have Lightning Bolt and Counterspell, they have a lot of they could have a lot of things. I mean this I will probably negate. This is obnoxious. All right, that time we brought in chalices and there you go. Now's your moment. Nope, monster mentor. Interesting. You got two spells you can cast here? That'd be awkward. But I'm gonna... That's one. Okay, fair. I don't know when I'm going to feel safe to to Emrakul here. Oh boy. Hmm. Is it now? I do wish I had one more land, that's for sure. Uh, I have no link to Ollie's newest version of his deck because I have not like why would I don't I, I wouldn't have posted it anywhere like that doesn't um I guess we just hope you don't have Snapcaster. Counterspell or Lightning Bolt. We have to do this now, otherwise they could just block with Fairy Conclave. Interesting. What up, Git V? Long time no see, buddy. All right. Look at the six cards. I don't even know what that means. What 
wonder if they can kill me out of nowhere. Activate Fairy Conclave and then play a bunch of spells. Well, they already played Thought Scour, so that would be weird. Okay, maybe not. Yep, I guess we're dead. Because you Thought Scoured a Fate Stitcher. If you literally have two more one mana spells, we're dead. By, like, one point. Oh, no, we're definitely... They were definitely dead by more than one point. All right, cool. Yeah, we could have we could have played Garrick, untapped four lands, and then also played Polymorph, but that wouldn't have actually done anything more. Um, plus, if we resolve the Garrick and they do have a counterspell for the Polymorph, it just leaves a four mana get four loyalty Garrick on the board, and I'd rather just... I mean, then they just kill our Garrick for free, and we get nothing out of it. So if our Polymorph's going to resolve... It's better to do that, but if it's not going to resolve, we're just throwing away a Garrick. I don't know what you're doing. Like, just what? Like, come on, just end the game. <laughs> Good lord, get your life together. So, like, the only time the Garrick is better is if our Polymorph resolves and we have an Emrakul on board. And in that situation, we're probably fine anyway. So. All right. Yeah, I feel like Jeskai Ascendancy just does too many things. I'll keep this hand. It's really slow and modern, but, you know, we got lots of things to do, eventually. Usually when you have a name, like Magic Player 10265985, it means you had a different name uh, that was reported for some reason. And then they just replaced your name with a generic magic player name. Oh god, is this the mirror match? Give me like a far seeker and explore. There's five of them in the deck. You can do it. That's not what I was asking for, but I appreciate the the enthusiasm, Mutavolt. I appreciate you're a real go-getter. I guess because you have all creature types, you think that you are a far seek or an explorer, but you are not. You are not. Uh, what is happening? That is awesome. I have no idea what's going on right now, but that is super sweet. Let's get a breeding pool. Oh, things just got interesting. See, I don't want to, like, play super hyper-competitive decks in modern. I just want to do cool stuff and win. Ghost Quarter does seem kind of counterproductive to reaching Ascend. I agree with you. Alternatively, they could be using Field of Ruin, which doesn't actually affect your Ascend. Your Ascension. I guess we could say. You are still able to ascend just fine. Oh my god, is this just a standard deck? What's going on here? I mean, we're going to polymorph, and I'm just going to... I'm going to safely assume... Not, not. I guess it's not safely. I can't say if it's a safe assumption. I'm going to assume that it's safe. Oh my god. 
Bade Waxter, I, you guys are ridiculous in the Discord channel. I can't even handle you sometimes. Heartless summoning. What is happening at the moment? This guy can't attack or block, so he might as well get in there for three, right? What could possibly go wrong? And I'm pretty sure we put Utopia Sprawl on a forest. This can kill basics. Should target land. Ooh, all right, interesting. Might not be worth it then. I guess we're just gonna polymorph here. Give me, what up, Skane Tiger? Can I get an Emrakel? Look at this, elephant is colorless. Well, no it's not, it's actually green. That's weird. Token creature, elephant is blanked out, and then it says elephant is colorless. That's weird. Magic Online does some real weird things sometimes. I hope you don't have a way to deal with this. Because if you do, I'm going to be real sad. Oh, I guess Emrakul's a hell of a drug, apparently. So we saw a bunch of graveyard nerds. Um, we'll bring in the relics. Hmm. <laughs> Wibble Chomp, were you... <laughs> uh, was the viewer count... Would you say the viewer count was nice at that moment? Uh, Dismember seems pretty okay. The one of Dismember. Cyclonic Rift can probably go. I'm not super excited about Cyclonic Rift in general, I think. So... Uh, everything else seems fine. I have to also assume they have Crucible of Worlds, but I'm not going to bank on it. Should bring the Nature's Claim in anyway because they do have uh, Heartless Summoning, apparently. Oh, i got to take two other cards now. I'll take out one Search and one Utopia Sprawl. That leaves us a six one mana Ramparinos. Um, I don't see myself going to any Magic events anytime soon, unfortunately, Doom Train. Um, I... So, uh, I've actually talked about this quite a bit recently, but, like, I just... I don't think I get that much enjoyment out of, like, big magic events. They're just kind of exhausting to me. Like, I, I think I have much more fun when I'm just, like, hanging out with friends, streaming, making videos, and just doing that kind of thing. But, like, traveling for an event, playing, like, nine nine rounds of magic all day, trying to find food at, like, nine, nine or ten at night, going... Trying to get enough sleep for the next day, waking up early going to the convention center playing like seven more like that's all so exhausting to me and I, that might even sound like that might even sound old but i don't you know what i don't even care that is that is and then you have to like fly home in time you have to like make plans to like i have pets so people gotta watch my pets you know i gotta make sure i have all the work done that i need to get done like it's all kinds of stuff it's a whole to do you know and so like that's not to say i don't enjoy magic events here or there but like in general i think um, the kind of like live event grindy lifestyle it's just it's not really my my taste I think and I think I was getting really unhappy with magic because I tried to make it my thing but it just never was uh, I actually haven't been qualified for the pro tour for like couple months now so no one two three four five six that's a lot of but i mean like i have a blast just hanging out with you guys and drafting and and playing cute and playing magic online and streaming like that's that's totally fun to me
We're either exploring and hoping to hit another land or relicking. I think exploring is probably better here because we just want to hit a land. Uh, what? No, why would I RPP? RPTQ grind sounds even worse because I don't want to do all that. So why would I grind at the local level in order to qualify to do all that? Like, that's crazy. Oh my god, this deck is fantastic. I love everything that's happening right now. See, this is my jam, dude. I don't even... You got Gitrog Monster, Heartless Summoning. Woo! This is amazing. Doom Train, you just, you just summarized my entire Magic the Gathering experience. Like, I also get tired of the same decks over and over. Yeah, my opponent is playing a cooler deck than I am, and that always makes me sad. And I can't even hit a land here. I think we're just going to exile now to hit a land, because... We kind of need to, man. Let's be real. Give me all those land. Oh my god. No, come on. Uh, we won't attack. Even though... Would it, would, it, would it have let me attack? Because it literally gave me the choice of... Of tapping that dude. What do you think is the deck that will be relevant to the longest and standard moving forward into Dominaria? I have... I, I, does anything rotate when Dominaria comes out? Put my triggers on the stack? There's only one. <laughs> come on. Come on, Magic Online. Just stop. Is there... Do you guys know? Do you guys know what rotates when Dominaria comes in? Anything? I was literally talking with my friend at FNM last Friday about Heartless Sun and Gitrog deck. Well... Looks like you preemptively broke the format, my friend. Like, I was doing work, so I had your volume on low in the background, then I glanced at the screen and needed to turn it up to hear you talk about this Gitra. Yeah, this deck is... Why? Why are you... Pro I, was it just waiting for me at the cleanup step? Why? And look, we were both at 2049 when I... Uh, when I When I passed priority. So it was meant to be. Is your last name really pronounced Leopard? False. N no, it is not. <laughs> that would be weird. And I have no idea why it would be pronounced that way. That would be like if your username was pronounced Tempest Blower. This is, there are so many things going on right now. You're going to kill my colony garden? Every time I say colony garden, I think it's colony, like a colony garden. And that's weird, right? If they had killed this during my main phase, I could have actually gotten another land. And then we could have Proteus staffed. My god. What's happening right now? Does this guy let you play two? Oh my god, this guy lets you play two lands? What? Wow. Oh, hey. Bala. I think we're dead, but, you know, just, uh, just in case. I'm gonna see if it lets me attack with this guy next turn. Tempest Blue, thank you so much for saying so, man. Appreciate it. I, I do what I can. I try. I'm trying to be real consistent about it, too. Like, every day at 11, I post a new YouTube video. So, if you guys haven't done so, head on over to youtube.com slash Frank Lepore and give me a follow. If you guys are watching this on... Or give me, a subscri uh, give me a subscribe, I guess. And you can click the little bell to get notifications. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And always appreciate the comments and uh, when you guys actually make it over to the stream and you're like, first time watching a stream live, it's awesome. And I'm like, thank you so much. That's really cool. I, I really appreciate that kind of that kind of support. So, there's five clues. What's even happening right now? 
Modern is a weird format, dude. <laughs> Zedrite, I thanks for saying so, I think. Jeff, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for your Twitch Prime sub. Uh, I'll take five, six, seven, eight. I'll go to four, and I will just hope that I can win. I cannot. The end. All right, let's go to the next one. I kind of want this in. I want... Yeah, Dismember is actually still good because it actually kills the Gitrog monster when they have Heartless summoning out, which is pretty cool. This is my Jagillion time watching the stream. Do I get to thank you? Hey, Recycle Toad, listen. Thank you. Thank you. What's the difference between Twitch Prime sub and normal sub? None. No difference whatsoever. They are functionally the same thing. Uh, one just is granted to you via Twitch Prime, or Amazon Prime rather, and the other is not. This is the hand you want to keep when you aim to sneep. I don't know what that means, but someone does somewhere. Sometimes you can just look at a hand and you can kind of tell the deck your opponent is playing and you can be like, okay, I think this hand just wins me the game. Uh, you could subscribe to your own Twitch stream and pay yourself $5 for free, but I don't get all $5 of the, the subscription. Uh, Twitch Prime, Twitch Twitch subscriptions, the, the base the base membership rate for, for Twitch subs is $250 to the, $250 to the broadcaster and $250 to Twitch, so it's $50-50. Um, technically, you probably could subscribe to your own, your own channel. I don't know if you could, though. I don't think you can be your own subscriber. But if you could, yeah, you could make $250 a month extra you know if that's if that's how you want to do so jeff if you want to cancel that sub start your own channel and use it on yourself totally understand buddy totally understand lysergomancer thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome to the sultai brood I think you might be automatic. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see how my my thing shows up. Look, I am subbed. I am technically subbed to myself. Okay. <sighs> my God. Have you no soul, man? I think we're okay still. You're lucky I can't get rid of that forest, buddy. You are lucky. Oh god, what if we draw the second one next turn? Dude, I will cry. Recycle Toad at the sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to this. Welcome. Well, I would say, I feel like Recycle Toad has subscribed before, but welcome back. Welcome or welcome back, depending on uh, what the case may be. What do your amazing mods get? They get the pleasure of being moderators. What? I don't understand. How many islands are in our deck? I am about, I'm in Clearwater in Florida, Doom Train, so I'm probably, I'm like 15, 20 minutes away from St. Pete. Uh, St. Pete is where I grew up. I love St. Pete to death. It is probably one of my favorite cities ever. I was talking to Mike B and asked him where he wanted to go later and what he wanted to drink. He responded, bar, probably booze. Wow. That's amazing. That is utterly amazing. What did the shadow SL? What did the shadows ask? You only get half the sub cost. You at least get uh, donations. PayPal takes a small percent. Um, 
there's a setting in PayPal where you can set it to if you're going to receive a lot of like bulk, like smaller bulk donations, uh, you can have them take a smaller percentage. So they'll take like 5% of the donation and like five cents or like a quarter or something like something really small. But I mean, okay, well, this is fun. We're having a good time. I don't know what this is going to do against my Emrakul, but it's my Emrakul and I want it now. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. What? No. How many lands can you play? Two additional lands on each of your turns? Oh, so they had it in play. So they play three lands, so they've killed four lands so far. Oh my god, that's ridiculous, dude. That is ridiculous. Um, we're getting a list, buddy. Oh, they don't think they're accomplishing anything. They're just having fun. Like, they already said nice games. So, they're just having fun. And if you're playing a Gitrog Monster ramming up Excavator deck with Heartless Summoning, I don't begrudge you for having a little Ghost Quarter fun at the end of the game. Makes total sense to me. I'm excited. This is awesome. Uh, I guess I gotta copy this. Copy. I'll paste this in the chat for you guys, too. Look at that. There you go. I'm probably going to try and find a stream later. All right, sweet. Got him. Phallic Knight was probably... That's hilarious. Phallic Knight was probably his username. And it got banned on on Magic Online. That's hilarious. Oh my god, the story just makes so much sense right now. This is amazing. It's my Emrakul and I want it now. Alright, we got the old 1-1 one, one going. We don't have a green so a blue source here, but I think we're still fine, right? Oh man, Corsair of Crucifix, Wayward Sword Two seems amazing. Life from the Loam, woo! Deck is hot. Phallic Knight, that's hilarious, dude. Someone, but someone had to report on be like, um, the name, the name Phallic Knight disturbs my delicate sensibilities. <laughs> I would like to report this. Uh, this disgusting individual. And that's probably how it went down. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Jeff, this is not. This is just a deck I... This is just a modern deck I found uh, that went... I think it went 5-0 in a league. So we're trying to figure out how it may have done that. But usually for the deck critiques, I um at the beginning I'll mention whose deck it was. Um, we'll make we'll make some I'll be making suggestions usually throughout. So, okay, well that's a lot of things. I guess we're just gonna go double colony garden. Let me see if I can attack with this. Hold on, it says defend. Oh, cause they're not they don't have defender. It just literally says defender on there. So now I can actually attack with this defender one and send a message, which is good. That's really what you want to be doing. Okay, well, you see what's happening here, ladies and gentlemen. You understand. I should have just played Treetop Village there. I don't know why I didn't. <coughs> if we can draw one one blue mana. So Misty Rainforest, Island, Breeding Pool. Even Utopia Sprawl would do it. And Ugin. Karn. Kill one of my lands. Kill my Mutsotoots. 
Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Everyone's having fun. Everyone's having a good time. Let's just keep attacking Karn. I don't know why. why. I don't know why Magic Online doesn't give us the correct tokens. I don't know why Magic Online does a lot of things it does. But... Exile a card from my hand, huh? Exile a card from my hand. I'll just give you this Polymorph. I'm not going to give you the Emrakul because by some chance, if we happen to restart the game, I don't want you to restart with an Emrakul in play. That's really what it comes down to. I don't think... Uh, I don't think it's going to get to that point. But... Do you guys remember when everyone was like, uh, what about Jason Modern? Whoa! But then like... People are playing car turn three and turn four Karns, and it's like, well, that's oh cool. So this guy is just, just a just a brutal monster, I guess. Give me a beast, give me a beast. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can add two counters to this guy and just kill b everything in my life. One, two, three, four, five. Exile this with Karn. <laughs> Is that what you're saying right now? Oh boy. Oh boy. So now you can just go all the counters. Exile, exile, or shoot, shoot, double shoot. Exile Treetop Village. That's where we're at. Ready? Ready for the conceit. Oh, you actually have one more than I thought you did because you had uh, two towers. Like It's like a Lord of the Rings novel up in here. Jordan Asaka, what's going on, buddy? Or, you know, Jordan Asokia, as uh, as you're known in the SCG circles. Asoika? Asuiko? You know how it is. So long, Treetop Village. I hardly knew you. Literally hardly knew you. I had no idea who you were. Yep. Thank God he didn't, my opponent didn't play Jace. And I thank God they only played Karn instead. How is modern? That is the question. All right, so what do we want here? Chalice on one is actually pretty okay. Two Nagates. Nagate. Cyclone Rift, not great. You kept me awake the last two nights. Dem Demov, sorry, man. That is, uh, that was not my intention, buddy. I, I apologize. Chalice of Lavoie. What if I, what if we go Polymorph into Emrakul and then they just go Karn, Exile, Emrakul? Like, that's pretty bad, right? I feel like that's not fun. What is Ugin doing in the deck? Do you just, like, hard cast an Ugin? That seems interesting. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Jace has definitely ruined the format. Like, have you seen how many Jace decks we played against and how how oppressive it was against us? I I can't really I can't really handle. It. I'm just gonna submit like this. I'll keep this hand. I'll keep this hand. Let's go searching, guys. Whoop. I was thinking about Terastodon. Say, look, Chalice for one. You don't get to cast any of these idiot idiot cards. This is going to be good. So next turn we get to Polymorph, and we just hope you don't have Natural Tron. I'll add a green... I'm gonna green it. Here we go. They're gonna get it. It's gonna happen. They're gonna search for the one piece they don't need, and then they're gonna play Karn. They're gonna have Karn and two extra Tron pieces in their hand. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. I think we just won the game. Modern is a hell of a thing, boys. Let's get this beautiful island. Roll that beautiful bean footage.
See, this might be a misplay because if we actually uh, played Colony Garden last turn, we could have attacked with the 01 first. So I think we lost some style points there, but I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't hopefully it doesn't matter in the long run. What up, Connor Ryan? All right. Your move. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm going to bring in the chalices because I think they're just way too strong. I think when people realize Jace is just pretty average in modern, um, I think the price will go down. How would you feel about Ancient Stirring's ban as a way to attack Tron while still letting the deck exist? I don't think you really have to attack Tron. Like, as much as I dislike the deck, it is beatable. This is why, like, Tron decks aren't really winning. Tron's a cool deck. It's not a cool deck. But Tron is not, like, crazy dominating the formats, you know? Plus, Ancient Stirring just isn't... Like, if there's, a, if there's an uptick in both Lantern and Tron decks, I mean, I think then we have to start worrying, but I don't think we're there yet. What did they get? Ursa's Pooper Plant? If $300 is too much for you, just don't put them in your deck. Like, that's that's literally what it comes down to. Like... I like this because we can put Proteus Staff down, and it forces them to deal with something. If they deal with Proteus Staff, then we get to Polymorph next turn. If they deal with the token, we get to play Blink Moth Nexus, activate it, and then activate Proteus Staff. So... I'm not going to attack anymore. I think they've gotten the point. Oh, and they don't have... Oh, the double polymorph hand. Bam, 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 bam. Staff is just polymorph on a stick. Put target creature on the bottom of its owner's library. That creature reveals cards from the top of his library until he reveals a creature card. So... Like you do. Okay, we just win the match. Wow. So, this is how you beat Tron, apparently. Good riddance. To bad Tron rubbish. He's actually been pretty underwhelming in my eyes. A friend of mine decided to quit Modern before he even probably unbanned and I had to tell him. Yeah, dude, these people who are like, oh, they ruined the Modern format. I'll never play it again. I'm just like, is this how you respond to everything in your life that maybe mildly disrupts your, your delicate sensibilities? Because it's dramatic and it's really uncalled for. And it's kind of illogical. So I don't really understand it. I'm like, why are you overreacting like this? This is not... Like, I, I would hate to see these people, like these these people who have, like, these ranting, like, complaints. I'd hate to see them in any kind of crisis. Because they don't seem like they'd handle it very well. Apparently, I said, quote-unquote, Tron's a cool deck. Um, and I probably meant it facetiously, but... That is not how it came across, I guess, when it was added to the quotes. So, um... Oh, good. we did. Here we are again. Here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> really? All right, so we're going to go exploring. Far seeking. And passing. Well, if they have Tron, it's just really sad. Everything you say can and will be used against. That's 100% true when it comes to... What's, I don't even know what SCG Con is. That seems interesting, though. Here we go. The problem is if they exile this, we don't have a, a land for... Oh, I see. That's interesting. Obnoxious, but interesting. So now we can play Colony Garden, then we polymorph the Colony Garden. Everybody walk the dinosaur. I feel like if you have Karn, you just Karn my Utopia Sprawl, right? And by, by that, I mean the forest. I will shoot you, my friend. Cody Ganks, where is the where is the event? I'm going to play this and hope you don't have a way to exile it. But you probably do. Because you're a monster. Tron is a monster. People who play Tron are monsters so that's my that's my opinion on that guys see how see how quickly those Tron quotes show up now oh why are you doing this sometimes destroy destroy each non-land permanent Emrakul's not indestructible right Dang it. It does force what did what did you get off of your worm coil engine? I guess we'll make you use it, right? Right. Oh, I love Gabby to death, but she's definitely a monster. Gabby is biggest moonster ever. Gooby is biggest moonster there is. We can't play Proteus Staff because then they're just gonna they're gonna Oblivion Stone this turn, so they're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then they'll have three four mana left over. <laughs> I appreciate your uh your unbiased nature in terms of Tron quotes. That is nice. That I, I give you credit for that. Oh, that's a dude. Well then. Oh, it's Mr. X. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Bruderuski. It's not really called that. I just was trying to was trying to hip it up like the kids, like the kids would do these days. That was a weird choice. Shuffle. Get busy shuffling. Can we just get one more card that comes in that makes a creature? One, two, three, four. Garrick Wild Spreaker. 
Artifact Enchantment or a land. Okay, that's pretty good. So we have three of your four cards. All right. Um, we can actually play Proteus Staff here because then they just exile that. That's pretty bad. I don't want them to go world breaking my guy. How do you get on Discord? Um, I think you have to be on the desktop version. Maybe you have to have Discord on desktop and then link the two. Connect your your Twitch account to your Discord account. And then it should send you an invite to the channel. So you played Sanctum. Yep. Oh, I don't, that's actually probably just going to do it, right? One, two. Yeah, you just exile this guy. If, if Even if we made a beast, you'd exile the beast in the Ulamog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Actually, you only have nine mana right now. <gasps> but we once, we once we get an Emrakul in play, you just exile that, right? So that's pretty bad. All right, Worldbreaker gone. Uh, the benefits of Discord chat—it's just a, it's just a sweet Discord channel. Like, um, it's basically all of the a lot of the subscribers are in there. Like, we chat about decks, we chat about memes. Like, it's just a cool place to hang out. Like, I think the chat of uh, of my stream is probably one of my favorite parts about it. And to, to be able to like keep chatting like when I'm not streaming is has been has proven to be pretty pretty sweet in my opinion. So. Exile to target permanence. I don't know if that's going to do it. What did you get with the Sanctum of Ugin? Was it another world breaker? Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You might not have a tenth land, which would be interesting to me. Everybody walk them down or so. All right. No no tenth land is what no tenth mana is what we're looking for here. Oh my god, do you not have it? Oh one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's still only nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you only have nine mana. <gasps> oh. Wow, they never don't have things, don't they? <laughs> Always had it all, didn't they? Uh, block? It's fine, I guess. Wow, I got so excited. Uh, probably won't be able to play it today, Jeff, just because I do have a flight at around 6 p.m. Or 7. So, uh, boy. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. We have nothing here, and they have a little mog next turn. So, all right. But I will get to it next week. So, if that changes your your feelings, I you know that's I understand. Uh, I'm headed to... We're actually... I'm going to be I'm gonna be driving up to... I'm going to be flying to a friend, and then we're going to drive up to Brooklyn. And we're going to see Jawbreaker this weekend, which is one of my favorite bands that have gotten back together after like 15 years, 20 years, a long time. All right, we're going to go Chalice because Chalice is good last time. We're also going to go Negates because Negates were good. Take out the Batter Skull and the Nissa and the Cyclonic Rifts. I think we're good like that. Also, Jeff, um, between March 3rd and 7th, I think, 4th, 5th, 6th, or 4th and 7th, I will be in the Rockville, D.C. area if you want to grab lunch or something. I also got, I also reached out to Gary Steinman, and I, I'm trying to see if he wants to get something, too, because it'd be cool to see some of my Bethesda friends.
I feel like we were, I feel like actually we, we were kind of in it for most of that game. They just happened to have like expedition map into, um, second oblivion stone. You know, it was just a, it was one of those, it was one of those classic never didn't have it situations, you know, which is just magic. That's just modern. That's how it goes. I'm going to add a green here because we only need blue for a couple things. But we need green for everything. So now we have the choice of playing Blinkmoth Nexus into Call of the Herd or Colony Garden next turn in order to play for Garrick on the turn after that. And I guess it doesn't matter now because they just killed our Utopia Sprawl. That was aggressive. <laughs> Well, we are on track to... Uh, they, they led with Horizon Canopy, which is interesting. Huh. Let's hope you don't have another nature claim, I guess? We're not going to wait till turn 6 for when we can cast this and play it, especially because we don't have two more lands. So we're just going to run this out there. Hope you don't have an excess of nature's claims. And, uh... Attack you for one. Super Ladman, have a good afternoon or night or what have you. Really appreciate hanging out. Good hanging out, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Wow, you're going to dismember this thing? <laughs> sure. I'm scared. I'm a week or so away from living 30 minutes from Gary and Lisa. Why does that sound dangerous? Are you going to do something crazy? Don't do anything crazy. Those are good people. Luis actually posted a post posted a picture on Twitter of uh, like a, it was like a hot sauce and it said gut shot on it and he tagged me in it and I was like wow you are just a bloody savage. Luis and Gabby are great though. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Why are we still saying everybody walk the dinosaur when we're not drafting? Someone posted that in chat and I don't even understand why because now it's in my head and. We're not like, we're not even drafting Ixel on here. Boy, Warping Whale, Nature's Claim, and Seal of Primordia. They really had it all, didn't they? Sure. HQ, it's 3 p.m. I don't even know what HQ is. You have to kill the seal now, right? Like, this is not... Or the, the Proteus staff now, right? Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh, a live tree game for actual cash. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I, I disabled links because there's a lot of spammers. Subs, I'm going to actually change it so subs can actually post links. I feel like that should be allowed. I don't know why it's not. 
I'll see if I can fix that. I thought it, I thought it was. So I guess we're going to end up 1-1 one, one against the Tron decks. All right. Never didn't have the Oblivion Stone. <laughs> so so this game you've drawn Warping Will, Nature's Claim, Seal of Primordial, and Oblivion Stone against us. That's pretty good. That is not... That is hard to fight against, let's say. Let's, let's put it that way. Is it non-land? Yeah, so we can actually activate Imp Blink Moth Nexus and still attack with it. And not have to worry about the Oblivion Stone, so... Wow. Uh, it's weird how um, you think you know people, and then they say something in the chat, and then you realize they're actually complete monsters. Uh, sometimes their name is even Monsonster, which sounds like monster. So it should have it should have made sense to you all along, but it didn't. Get him. Go 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 get him. Create a wolf baby. How did our eyes get so red? Is that a reference? I don't I don't get it. Oh my god, would you rather get knocked down and have some whiskey drinks? Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so you just play Ulamog here. So your Ulamog is actually indestructible. So you can play Ulamog this turn, exile two things. Even if I'm able to polymorph, you can still pop the Oblivion Stone, kill my Emrakul, your Ulamog lives, and then you can attack me for a million. It's a lyric from Photograph. Wow. See, I didn't actually know that. That's funny. Because I don't know the song that well. Uh, I, 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 how do I like the boss as a musician? I think Bruce Springsteen is fantastic. I'll, I will get back up again. You'll, you're never going to keep me down. That's what I always say. I say it sometimes. Probably not always, but... Let's get a little weird. See, I told you. This is what I mean about people just finally catching a stream. Because they, they see the videos on YouTube. What's going on, man? Good to good to see you. Glad you made it. I don't know how to deal with this. Pizza. This pizza ch over here. <clears throat> I also try not to curse on stream. Because I don't know the audience that were. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fifteen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Okay. Um. We don't have enough mana to cast this, so I think we're dead. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. We do it to flip Garrick. Let's flip him. Okay, he didn't. I guess he didn't flip. I don't know. I guess he died, but I don't know. Whatever. All right, hold on. I'll try with this one. Maybe it's a bug. Okay, hold on. I think we got him. Okay, still not dead. I don't. I still not flipping either. I don't know what's going on. This is kind of obnoxious. I guess I just filed for compensation. Uh, 
So, I, yeah, I guess, uh, I, I guess, I guess Ulamog too strong. That's really what it comes down to. Look at this photograph. This is the one that wants to make me laugh. Well, we tried. Vukrelez, I've actually been trying to stream more often uh, during the afternoon. The afternoon for me, anyway. Um, so I'm glad you have appreciated and noticed it. Didn't you just say good games to a Tron opponent? I laughed that photograph once. Can you milk me? I feel like if I can get a green screen of Robert De Niro saying that, I think that's all I would ever want for memes. I think the meme, my meme, my meme machine here would be done. Somebody touch my fucker! We are 2-2. Two, two. We're, we're playing New Magic Shop, who is 0-1. Let's try to go 3-2. Let's try that. Okay, this hand's not going to do it, but we have seven ways of of cheating this dude out, so we can do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, your favorite meme machine is the WoW? Wow. That's a classic. That's a That's an old meme, but it checks out. Uh so Mike tends to sleep until like four PM on the days he's not working. Uh it's three PM now where I am, so I'm pretty sure he's actually asleep still right now. Um it's a little disconcerting sometimes because I'm like, dude, that's not a healthy amount to. All right, they have two cards, so at most they can kill two of our lands. That's that's my theory. Uh, Mike B could actually be a cat. You are not. That is not out of the question. What's my opponent doing? Okay, 16 cats in a human suit sounds hilarious. Stone rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Stone rain. Uh, the most enjoyable moment in my MTG life, probably top eight in the Pro Tour. I, I can't imagine. Um, so that was, I think that was my most accomplished moment. I think my my favorite moment was probably the 2014 Magic Online Community Cup. Um, where I was with uh, Paul Chion, uh, Bjorn Andresen, Aaron Campbell, Sean Plott, Tom Ross, like tons and tons of awesome, awesome people. Funny enough, Tom Ross and Paul Chion both are in Wizards R&D now, which is super awesome. 
and um, it's Mr. X. I hope you're kidding because me me assuming that Garrick was gonna flip was all a meme. That was just a joke. I was just totally joking around. <laughs> oh. What's our opponent doing? Oh, what's going on? Are you sad you can't stone in our Misty Rainforest? Are you just that ups you can't be that upset about it, right? Uh, I wouldn't know, actually. I, I imagine, like, you can probably look up Dominaria and it'll tell you the R&D members who worked on it. So it's, it's very possible that... It's very possible that Tom and Paul are both on Dominaria. Did you guys think it was serious about the Garrick flipping? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Did I sell it that well? I I wow, I didn't really think I did. I thought I was just I thought it was super obvious that I was joking. I did see I did see Sean's Sean's post about I so I didn't actually see Sean's post because I haven't used Twitter in a few months. Um But I had a friend mention it to me and I was like, that sounds ridiculous. Cespasar, what's going on? Glad you can catch a stream as well. But favorite modern deck right now? I don't actually, I don't think, so here's a funny thing. I don't think I ever actually have a favorite modern deck at any point because I think it's too hard for me to play one deck long enough for it to be my favorite. I'm just going to play Misty Rainforest until, until I want to cast something, which will be Call of the Herd next turn. And then it like, it forces you to do nothing for all your turns. Okay, BC, thank you so much. I am glad you were joking. It's really hard to tell, though, because I, I felt like I was kind of selling it. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure both Tom Ross and um, and Paul Chian are both on the play design team. Which means, I don't know if they do as much development. Like, they're not, like... They're not designing the cards. They're tweaking the cards. I'm oh, Italian to me. It's a bit difficult to see you live. I usually see... Yeah, that's... I've actually been trying to stream a little more earlier in the afternoon for, for that reason. Because I know starting late is hard for uh, any European audience. So, you're like the third person in this stream alone to say that. So, I, I definitely appreciate uh, that you guys... have That you guys have been appreciating it, basically. So... I'm going to try to be more consistent with uh, with Freshly Brewed. I really like to. It's hard because... Okay, so no offense to Ollie. I love Ollie to death. But it's hard because I do a lot of the work for the podcast. So, like, I'm the one who who, who streams it on Twitch. I, I'm the one who records it on Twitch. I'm the one who then uploads it to YouTube. I'm the one who edits the podcast afterward. Uh, I'm the one who uploads it to the podcast site. I'm the one who then uploads it to Patreon. You know, so, like, I'm the one who does all the Discord work. I'm the one who comes with the... Like, I do a lot of the work. Ollie literally just calls me. We record the podcast. He sends me his file, and then we're done. I recorded in Audacity, too. So, like, I'm doing a bunch of stuff on my end for the podcast, and I just feel like Ollie is, like... He's not... It's not like he's not doing things, but, like, I do a lot of the work. So, I... I it's harder for me because... um, I've just taken that upon myself to do to do that, so... So I think that's why it's easier for me to get burnt out than it is for Ollie because Ollie's just like, hey, man, let's do the podcast. And I'm like, oh, God, it's there's so many things that go along with this. Plus, like there's an audio sync issue for when I'm recording the the videos for YouTube. Oh, God, why are you the way that you are? Why don't I just get Island Forest against the Blood Moon deck? The, it, my opponent took so long to play like something on their, their third or fourth turn. That, like, at that point, I was just like, you know what, man? 
I don't know what's going on here, but... I totally forgot that Blood Moon was a thing, and I should have just gotten basics. There was no reason to not get basics there. Yeah, we have no way to win. We need we need two cards right now. We need uh, an, a blue source, and we need a polymorph. Okay, well, so long, green. All right, we're just done here. Saxor, what's going on, buddy? Okay, so we're going to bring in Nature's Claim Maru. Probably negates. I think negates are probably pretty good here. Take out the Utopia Sprawls, because they're, if they're killing our land, the last thing we want is Utopia Sprawls on our lands. Um, This member seems good. Kills all the dragons. Chocolate rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Jeff, have a good afternoon, buddy. Always a pleasure seeing you. I will play first. I'll keep this hand. Yeah, will do. I will hit you up on Facebook. On the Book of Faces. So this time we're definitely getting blue sources. And basics. Blue basics is what we're getting. We're going back to blue basics. That's what I always say. You've never said that. I do like a Garrick next turn. That's pretty good. We're not going to crack this for so many obvious reasons. No, that turn we were at nine. We would have taken four, five, six from the the guy. So we went to three, and then we just play Batter Skull, and then they just kill us with uh, with Stormbreath Dragon without ever having to attack on the ground. So that's life, man. I do not speak Italian. I took a few years of Italian in high school, and Italian is definitely one of the languages I would love to relearn. Especially being Italian myself. No reason to crack this. I'm going to guard my, my island with my life. Do, do. One second, guys. All right, I'm just going to get forest. P morph. That's pretty good. I'll just play you for now. Side Norna, there was freshly brewed earlier this week. There was a freshly brewed like one day ago. Literally yesterday, the podcast went up. You got it. Sprawl City. Here comes old. I hope it's. I actually hope it's Blood Moon here. It's never Blood Moon. I 
I also wish I was on one of the teams for the MTG Mod and Super Tournament. They don't invite me to stuff like that, which is weird. It's always been very weird for me. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not, like, upset about it, but... Oh, my God. Who has fun playing against you? <laughs> At least I'm doing cool stuff. You're just killing lands? Come on. Give me another Misty Rainforest so I don't have to ever crack a land. Jeez, this is ridiculous. Yeah, Emrakul in opening hand is kind of like a mulligan, but then like I have to assume that it's better than my six-card hand, which could also have an Emrakul in it. Monvoli, Acid Moss, sure. Turn one Blood Moon, what's going on? Unfortunately, our opponent is playing the turn one Blood Moon strategies against us. I have to assume you'll just run out of lands eventually. You run out of land destruction eventually. I mean, presumably before we run out of lands, but... crying out loud <sighs> so we don't actually have another land so we I'm going to crack these and play Proteus Staff we're going to get two blue sources so if they Blood Moon we still have a blue source to activate, and if they stone rain, we still have a blue source to activate. It leaves us without green right now, but I don't think that's as important. So, like, they have two cards. If they kill a land, we can still draw another land. We're just hoping they have not a million land destructions, I guess. One down. <sighs> Unless they literally have two lands, two land destruction spells in hand. Which they seem to do. Okay, well, that was good. Now they got rid of our island. And this is our only island in the deck, so I'm pretty sure we just can't win now. We have to draw, like, forest nature's claim. We, like, literally have nothing right now. They don't either, though, so I don't know if that means anything. And they did have Acid Moss, so if we just played Mutavolt there instead and passed, uh, they'd be able to kill it. We'd have no lands. No, we'd have two lands still, and we still are not close to four, so... Well, now they got a win condition. A very good win condition as well. Dale Ellington the third, two months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Welcome. Oh, you just you had another molten row. Oh, this, is, this is going well. How many spells have I played this game? One, two whole spells I've played. Good times. Good times. Nice. I can go to four and kill this. And then I can die in two turns to these guys. Yeah, we're just going to call it a day. Unfortunately, 2-3. I don't know how this deck went 5-0. But uh, it was kind of it was fun when, when the things that were supposed to happen happened. So, um, yeah, that's that's life, unfortunately. If you guys are interested in the deck list, you can check it out in the description on the YouTube video. Uh, if, you're following, if you're watching on YouTube, please feel free to like and subscribe. Both of those things help me out a ton. And, uh, you know, it shows me that you like the content. So I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.